Hi, my name is Pop. This is a video tutorial about Unicenter, the point of sale program, the cash register program. And this video tutorial is a follow up about stock locations. I'm going to show how to do stock transfers. When you have got stock in house, originally the product location that is offered when you have the program new is general, and you can add additional locations in-house and I have showed in the prior video how to create those. If you've got an item here and there are 52 of them showing in the general location you may wish to move some stock to the break shelf and there are zero there. And This video shows how you can do that. If you go back to the stock and you go to stock movement and you're in general right here and this is the item we are talking about what I want to do is move it from one location to another. I'm not purchasing it, so I'm going to go to crossing and I'm going to move some items to the brake shelf and perhaps you might use a forklift or a two-wheel dolly if they are heavy and you might do this once a day. Let's move ten items. So I go one, zero, times, add two. I hit 11. I'll remove one and now I've got 10 items and I'm going to move from the general location to the break shelf location and when I hit equals it is accomplished. Now when I go back to stock and I go to product location and this item shows now not 52 but 42 in general and if I go to the break shelf now I've got 10. You may or may not need to do this depending on how big a business you have. I mean, you've got all of those items. And what you are doing is complicating your life by moving those items from one warehouse area to another warehouse area for easier access, presumably, and you may or may not have to even use this feature of the program. But that is how you would do an internal stock transfer. My name is Pop, and I have a whole bunch of video tutorials about Unicenta, the point-of-sale cash register program, and I thank you very much.